so coach has talked about you just simplifying the game man, and just playing hard defensively and that energy like what's gone into just kind of that revelation i guess yeah i mean um poor scouting for like everybody knows like i'm a good shooter so they will not be in gas with me so i gotta find those those little parts where i can help the team win and just do, do those extra plays where um, at least just crash the boards or play hard defense or just help the team, whatever I can do. Because I know like an easy shot is never going to be available for me. So I got to do the extra thing so that the team can be uh, available to win and do whatever it takes. RJ, when you're in that sixth man rule, do you, when you come off the bench, do you look to make a little bit more impact than when, than when you're in the starting lineup? I mean, I'm trying to do the impact whenever I'm in the starting lineup or off. Um, we don't come in at the six man. Six man. Um, I see some stuff on the court that could probably help the team out. Um, like the way they're playing, like maybe on offense, I can see some gaps on the, from outside of the court. So it's just some things that's like a different perspective. But yeah, um, in or out of the starting five, I'm always gonna help the team win. Five quick points in the last like minute and a half, and you had the dunk. Is it good just to see the ball go in and over the course of the game? Does that help you at all? Yeah, um, I feel like it did. It just gave the whole team a little boost, um, just a little bit more confidence since we were down like 13 or something like that. So just gave the team some confidence, some energy. I feel like going into the half. Um, but yeah, like it's good to see the ball go in. It just gives me a little bit more confidence coming to the second half. Coach mentioned he's seen you take a more of a leadership role with this team. How do you feel about just how you've seen your leadership role expand on this team during the season? Um, yeah, I feel like I've gotten a lot better um, towards what I thought about in the summer. But um, I feel like I still got a long way to go in leadership um, wise. But I feel like I've done a pretty good job on trying to involve the freshmen in everything that we do and all, how our culture stands. It's just in an effort, so I feel like I've done a pretty good job on it. Where do you kind of take that away from guys who came through the program before, or is there somebody you kind of like get? Um, I'd say the veterans from last year, Kofi, um, Monta, and Trent, and the old guys, and Jake, um, they were the old guys that's always mentor me on how to keep that culture in and that winning it's not easy. So you've got to sacrifice your body and everything you got on the court so that we can get to that, that finish line that we got in mind. What are you seeing out of Luke in practice so far? Just, well, it's early. But... Out of Luke? Yeah. Um, I've seen a lot of progress through him. Um, he's already working out. I've seen him. He's already running and all that. So it gets me really excited to be able to have him soon back whenever he can come back. So it's a lot of a lot of boost for us having him back. So it will open up the court like a lot more for a lot of guys. Are you one of those guys that he's playing one-on-one -on -one and two-on-two -on -two with so far? Um, no, because like, he'd be playing on a separate, um, whenever we in practice, he'd be like doing like workouts and all that while we practice so that he like stays in rhythm and all that. Remember on that stretch, like Coach talked a lot about that stretch of 19 straight days, all the games. What is that like? Like when kind of walking through just your mental fatigue that you guys get towards the end of that? Um, yeah, it's a little bit of mental fatigue, but we can use that as an excuse for the loss that we just had. Um, like Coach said, like we're not gonna win one-on-one -on -one game, so we gotta make sure as a team, whenever those stretches where we're down by ten, we gotta make sure we figure out how to play as a team and um, find everybody else and make sure you involve everything in the play and not just trying to like play one-on-one -on -one or something like that. That's something that we gotta get better as a team because um, some guys just like whenever the clock's running down, like they get like a little bit like anxious or something. So like we don't know what to do or like whenever the play breaks down, so we just gotta figure out how to move the ball in a certain spots so we can make the team move just like they make us like play into a rotation or something like that. So it's just um, making them pay for mistakes. Coach Underwood um, kind of touched on you becoming a lockdown defender. What um, key aspects of your game have you been focusing on in practice, would you say, just to help you improve on um, just basically defending because um, defense translates to offense. So if I play hard on the defensive side, I feel like things are going to open up for me on the offensive side because of the toughness that I'm playing down there and just going to translate to offense. So I feel like just playing hard defense is going to be a big key for our team and just like being able to lock down some one of their best players or whenever they need them. How'd you spend, uh, sorry. How'd you spend the two off days? After going 19 straight. Um, so the day after, I just went straight back to the gym, worked out, um, and then the other day I just took a little 
mental break just like to make sure I stay with myself and know that what's coming now is like a big stretch. So we gotta make sure we lock in now and just no more losses at home. So make sure we, every single game that we gotta stay farming and roll win, roll win we gotta take advantage of that and take that win. What have you seen about Ohio State on film that might, might be a challenge for your team? Um, really tough team. Um, they're gonna crash the glass really hard, so we gotta make sure we box them out. Um, really good, set keys, a great player, great post player. So that's a big challenge for Dane now. And Bryce sends about so a big challenge for our wings to guard. So I feel like it's gonna be a great challenge. Kind of going through a stretch where some of the other teams might be kind of keen on you offensively. What kind of key in keeping that, I guess, effort and defensive intensity you kind of talked about? Wait, can you repeat that again? Yeah, it's just like when teams are kind of keen on you offensively or kind of shots are from the floor, like you said, what's kind of the key in keeping that effort defense that you've had in that coach? Stuff? We just got to be tough offensively. Um, whenever teams pressure us, we're not um, running our plays. We're just letting them get to wherever they want to get us. So when they deny the ball, we just like let them deny the ball instead of like fighting for our spot. So we got to make sure we be tough on the ball and offense and make sure we run our play so that they got to pay, um, pay for their mistakes on defense. Thanks, Sergeant.